Hey guys, it's been a minute, <laughs> but Lulu Beauty here, back at you, my first recording for the new year for my YouTube channel, and I'm happy to be back. I took some time off, gone through a few things, cut my hair off, it's natural, just finished washing my hair, so I was like, you know what, why not just do a recording, like record, do some makeup. I got some new shit, why not? <laughs> so let's get into it. So I already primed my brows. Um, I've been priming my brows with the Fenty Beauty um, eyeshadow primer. It does what it needs to do. So I'm gonna let that sit. Cause I noticed like when I let it, um, if I apply brow product right afterwards, it, actually is too um it's too um it's too wet so i don't feel like it gives me my my best look so i just kind of like don't do it and um i actually put a little bit underneath my eyes like right up in here just so like my eye my um my concealer doesn't crease so um i'm gonna go right in with my concealer so the concealer that i'm doing is the new KVD Good Apple Concealer. Um, I have two colors. I have color 167 and 169. So when you see, it's just that one shade it might be a little bit lighter than the other shade, but um, actually 169 is a, a, appears a little bit lighter than 167, and it's because really it's the undertone. So. Um, I've been using 167, 69 underneath my eyes and then 167 around my mouth and doing a little bit of correction because of the more of the warmth in it, if that makes sense. So here we go. I'm not using my computer like so I can see what's going on. This is all like straight camera. No microphone, no nothing. <laughs> So I'm doing that. So I actually let my concealer sit nowadays just to see what it does. So I'm going in with 167 and I'm gonna go right up in here cause this is where I feel like a little bit of like discoloration. I know this looks like weird, but, and I go around my mouth too. Cause it does like a really good correction right here around my mouth and stuff like that. So I kind of let this, I've been letting it sit before I go ahead and like blend it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sit and now I'm gonna go and do my brows. So um, I've been falling in love with dip brow in the, like the mascara one. So I went ahead and tried a sample because I was like, you know what? I never got an opportunity to try it. And before I commit, I want to make sure I like it because this is kind of like new formula for me. So I was like, let me try it because I'm trying to do like simple things to do, like get a look without doing the most. So I used it yesterday and I was like super impressed by it. But you see, like sometimes I get a little excited but it's, it's, it's an easy clean. So I've been like really just brushing it in. And another trick that I learned was like combing my hair back down and then combing it up was good too. That's my emails going off already. It's like super early by the way. It's not even 8.30. And I just had like a really productive early morning so. Yeah. Now I'm going in with the, uh, what's this, Huda Beauty Brow Pencil, and I love it, in rich brown, and I kind of just blend up with it. So I, I definitely like using dip brow with something to kind of like clean up the brow, and um, like I would do with the other formula. I actually would do that with my other formula as well and i'm going to clean up like with the concealer right underneath here in a second but 
just so like regular it still looks like a pretty natural brow comparing to this one it still looks pretty natural and I feel like the dark brown in the dip brow is actually more on the cooler side in my opinion it's probably dark brown in Anastasia I believe is more neutral but on me it on this dip brow particularly looks a little bit more cooler and then the rich brown gives it a little bit of the warmth so I think it's a great combo. I tried it yesterday and I was like, oh, I think I like this. This will work. And it's not taking me a million years to fill in my brow. So I'll take that. And I just like start off with just like brushing upwards, then going back down, combing down, and then brushing back up like so. And I like this, like, I love priming my brows with that Fenty um, eyeshadow primer, it's bomb. And I just go under and kind of fill it in, blend that part up. And like go in the front of my brow and do that flickering. Cause I was like, I don't want to do such a super structured brow. And I think that's why I like the primer so much. Cause it really gets me away from that. Cause as soon as I put it in my brow and let it and brush the hair up, it kind of holds my hair up better than anything, even better than the brow wax, honestly. Better than the brow wax from Anastasia. I was like, yo, this primer slept on, slept on. Cause it's, it's, it stays on, it's on forever. And then, and then yesterday what I did, I kind of like filled in the back of my brow like crazy. And I wasn't mad at it. Cause the girl who did my brows yesterday, she did her thing. I wasn't mad at all. Okay, cool. So I'm done with that. And I mean, I'm telling you me doing my brows is a lot shorter and I was like, see, that's what I was trying to do. I'm trying to find a shorter routine to do my brows, for sure. Because I feel like the routine that I take is long. It's pretty long for me to like do everything, do my brows. It's, it's just, it just takes entirely too long. So I'm going back in with my KBD Good Apple Concealer in 169. And I'm literally just focusing right up in here. And this is actually typically a, such a, like a much bigger brush. I typically wouldn't even do a brush like this, but your girl's using what she got. So, at least right now. And then I kind of go a little bit on the top. But yeah. Not bad, I like it same way but this year's the year I'm gonna do my brows I'm gonna get my brows microbladed for sure I made the mind decision it's happening it's very much happening and then I'll just go up in here to kind of Tighten it up. Looks good. We're happy. Um, blend out my concealer. Got me my sponges. going anywhere specific I'm actually just blending out my concealers because I'm working today I'm doing like a lot of zoom calls so I'm just wanted to make sure I have a very good and solid complexion 
very much so. So my skin nowadays, because of the weather, see I wanna kinda get more of that. So because of the weather, my skin has been a little bit more on the dry side. And um, honestly, I'm not as oily like I, I usually am, to be honest, so. I'm a less, a lot less oily. My computer and everything is going off right now and I'm not sure why. I'm like, what time is it? Only 8.45, it's not that bad. You know, so whatever. So I actually want to try something different. I don't know, should I charge that? try the new NARS, which is the new light reflecting foundation, or should I use the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin? Hmm. What kind of look am I trying to give? Well, I brought only one of each, so... <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and you know how you do that, um, the shade finder on um, Sephora. So I went based on my Fenty shade, and um, my Fenty shade right now is 350, because your girl's a little lighter. So I was like, okay, I was going to go 11 neutral, and I was like, Ugh. it's telling me 10 warm, and I was like, Lucy, just go with it. And I looked at the model, it looked right, so I was like, I'll be fine. But you know, I love me to be a little darker, so we'll see. So this is the number 10. Matches my neck. <laughs> you know, I mean, comment down below if you're like one of the girls like, you're like around my complexion and you like to be a little darker. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a crime. Really isn't. But sometimes we go a little bit overboard. Like yesterday, I posted uh, like, um, so yesterday, so that would be Wednesday, the 20, the 19th. So yesterday, January 19th. And I put on 350 and I was like, oh, it's too dark. I put mad. Contour and bronzer, girl. I look back at the video, I was like, that's not how I started. <laughs> I started laughing because I was like, I love to be a little bit darker. Like, I love me a good bronzy, you know, a little bronze. So, it was, it was quite funny, but it's all good. So, I'm doing it. I like the color. You guys tell me what you think. So, this is the Charlotte Tilbury, the new um, foundation. And I wanted to give it a whirl. I like to apply hydrating foundations with a sponge and um, because they just look better, they kind of go into the skin a little bit better, opposed to a brush. I feel like sometimes when you apply hydrating foundations with a brush, they get very, they, they're way more streaky than a matte foundation, but that's my personal opinion. But um, yeah, so number 10, I like. I like the coverage, coverage level. She can stay. So that's that. So I love that. Yeah, she can stay for sure. The color I think is really great. How does my skin feel? My skin feels good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Maybe I'll do my tutorial tomorrow with the, the NARS light reflecting. Um, that's new, I literally just saw it and I'm not a huge fan of NARS, I'll be honest, um, it, for my color range, 
And the reason why is because it tends to go very, it tends to go very, uh, in my opinion, it tends to go a little bit too, what color is this? It goes too yellow. So that's my first time using it. I'm gonna use it when I record and I'll let you guys, and you guys let me know, but I like to look more so light. Nah, I don't like to look yellow. I'd rather be more neutral or warm than ye like yellow, if that makes sense. Personal opinion, personal, pre personal preference, like who cares? So I am gonna go in a little bit with some good Apple foundation in 66, just to kind of give me a little bit of highlight. I just love the way it just gives me a soft highlight. Um, in 66 when I put it on top of foundation. Now, I do like it as a foundation, but honestly, highlight, she's fire. So, and I literally just do it right down in here on the sides. Maybe a little bit on the chin. And you're like, girl, you're doing a lot for conference calls. I know, I know. Somebody be, gotta be extra and I thought it would be me. <laughs> Silly. All right, so I got that done and ready to go. Now, I'm going to set with probably 330 in the powder, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm doing it. I was gonna do something else, but I'm gonna go for it, why not? So, this thing is like literally cracking and it's making me like, giving me, making me insane. And I'm just focusing it right up in here. using my trusty Makeup Forever brush that I love ever so much. I will not give it up. And I'm just like really just packing it right up in my nose and creating that nice soft highlight that I love. It's like, it's, it's doing what it needs to do. Yeah. And I'm just gonna kind of pull it down right up in here. Oh yeah. And then go on top with the actual setting powder. It's definitely gonna create the deal. I'm like working in a certain space, so I'm like literally, this is obviously, you guys can tell this is not my normal space, so <laughs> I'm literally just working off this space that I have, and I'm like just making it work. But this is a beautiful space, though. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying the space that I'm in right now. So I'm using the Hourglass powder, and um, I'm gonna take a new sponge and get my mirror. And I'm just gonna lightly just set underneath my eyes on top of that powder. And I'm gonna go on the side of my nose. It's very cloudy today. Side of my nose. On the dot. Perfect. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the cheek here because I wanna kinda cut that shine for right now. Perfect. All right, awesome. So I am gonna throw in a little bit of contour and go over with bronzer. Um, Cause that's the kinda, that's what I'm feeling like today. I'm feeling like I'm giving I'm giving contoured look. I'm giving full look today, no matter what. 
So I'm going in with my matchstick and truffle from Fenty Beauty. Right. And I'm going, I'm working a little bit higher. So I'm going like right across. Right across. I'm gonna do a little bit here underneath my lip and I'm going like more across. And I've been kind of changing a little bit on how I choose to contour just because I want to, since my hair is a lot shorter and it's more natural, I feel like when I go further, when I go up, like go up with my contour, it looks a little bit softer. And it gives me room to kind of use other product. And, and I've been going like more lighter, like with truffle, you know, cause I love me a good espresso <laughs> or something a little bit darker. So this one here, I just, I just like it. So it's just like gives me room for placement with my bronzer and my blush. Cause I actually been putting on the whole damn thing to be honest. That's my computer turning off because it's like, girl, what are you doing? And I have six minutes. That's awesome. And I'm just tightening up my sponge because I don't want to go ahead and have to get another one. But I love that. Perfect. Now I'm going to go in with my Mario bronzer. It's been my favorite. Actually... It's, it's been really hard for me to like do something else or try something else. So <laughs> I'm doing it in the dark and I'm just kind of just warming myself. And you see, I'm working more on the outer edges than anything. more on the outer edges and I'm bringing it down because I'm actually showing my neck today. So I want it to be consistent. And I'm kind of just warming up like right up in here. And anything. Perfect. This is exactly, this is the look that I'm trying to go for. I think all of like 2022. So I'm not going to do too much with my eyes, but I am going to do something very, very simple and easy. Nothing new. My eyes, I'm going to kind of speed up this process because it's crunch time. So what I'm gonna be doing next is 
the Hustle Baby 2.0 in the Liquid Kilowatt from Fenty Beauty. I tried the Honey Hot Tea Potty yesterday and I am using this today. I wanna to see what it looks like. So here we go. Let me get closer and there we go. Um, I like to use my pinky. So I know other people were using other fingers. That's them, this is me. So I am gonna be using that. And this is the 2.0, this is pretty. What I wanna do is, I know this is like mid makeup and I'm sorry, but that shine is killing me. I like a little shine, but like not too much shine on my cheek. And I'm just using the side of the brush, so I'm not using like brown. But anyway, um, this is actually a little bit more softer. The other one was more bronzy. I have all of them, so comment down below if you want me to swatch all of them, because I can. Very, very simple. No hair off my back. And then um, here, too. Well, let me do the other pinky. Tapping in, let me see that kind of, because it's like the pressure, right? So, let's see what that looks like. It's a little glow. Is that enough? Just enough? And I think so, I think that's perfect. I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more. But yeah. I'm just going over with a little bit more powder to kind of mat me down. And I haven't got any new blushes, but um, I think I'm okay with no blush today. I have enough bronzer on, so. This is what we're doing. My hair is almost dry, fully dry. We'll take it. Okay guys, so this is my final look. This wraps up the first video of the year and I hope everybody's new year is to an amazing and great start. See you later, bye.